You're free to go. That's what the district attorney, Mark Gonzalez, said to Hannah Overton today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Gaze. And I'm Katia Diarte. After serving seven years behind bars, charged for killing her foster son, Hannah Overton was formally declared innocent on all counts today. Our three news camera caught up with Overton moments after that declaration. And our Heather Gustafson was there for this top story. Heather? Well, one day after the DA announced he would dismiss the capital murder charges against Overton, he met with her and her attorneys at the courthouse and declared her innocent. After being behind bars for seven years, Overton was overwhelmed by the news, but adds she never gave up her faith. After being locked up for seven years, Hannah Overton is a free woman. Ecstatic. <laughs> Don't even know where to begin. On Wednesday, Overton celebrated with friends and family in the lobby of the Noises County Courthouse. I'm just so excited that this day has finally come. Overton was convicted in 2007 for the death of her four year old foster son, Andrew Bird. It's still a little overwhelming. The last time I was in that courtroom, I was in shackles, so walking up, I was pretty scared still. And, um, I mean, it's, it's amazing, but it's still a little overwhelming. I think it'll take a while to sink in. At the time, prosecutors said Overton force fed the boy seasoning, which caused elevated blood sodium levels and later killed him. She was sentenced to life in prison, but released seven years later when a higher court overturned the conviction. The state appeals court ruled her legal defense was ineffective, sending the case back to Nueces County, where it was dropped. She's innocent of this, of this crime. District Attorney Mark Gonzalez says, in his opinion, Overton should never have been convicted of the charges in the first place. A lot of times you have to look past how it may uh, seem politically um, and do the right thing. The law says that a district attorney is supposed to not just seek convictions, but seek justice. And rarely do you get to see that. In all that time, Overton says she never lost her faith in God. It's wonderful to be home with my family. and. Things. It's been crazy busy and, and exciting. It's it's hard because transitioning is hard, and after everything that I've been through, it you know it, that that takes a toll. But God is good. And more good news for Overton. If you've ever seen the movie Double Jeopardy, then you know she can never be tried again for these charges. Live in the newsroom, Heather Gustafson, Three News.